grey Cairn Terrier type dog. How did we felt him? Let's find out. So I wanted to share with you guys again another finishing off full kind of top coat video for a little dog. And this is using my small armature and an open mouthed head and muzzle and some flopped ears. And from that I just made the body in black and from that I'm just working on adding the coat. The reason I wanted to share this little guy is his coat type is so very different from the other dogs that I've been doing lately. I like the Havanese dog which has a thick luxuriant coat this little guy has a broken cane of terrier coat so what's the difference with that and a normal coat so I thought I would film step by step what I was doing it's not a tutorial it's just an example of how I felt these things and the secret to this little dog type coat well two things one was to hand blend the colors first of all rather than just using a gray fleece what I did was I took a black and white in varying proportions and hand blended them using my dog carders now I wanted a variation in the color if I'd have kept carding I could have made it go kind of gray but but just with a single pass through the brushes this meant that it's a black and white coat with little chunks that are darker and little chunks that are lighter and I worked that in three different shades because his little head is a good deal darker than the rest of his body his body's quite light and his wee legs are in between and the underbelly as well and the secret to putting this kind of coat on is really less is more you're just looking especially for like the rough patch of the tail we're wanting a lot of the undercoat to kind of show through a lot of the black that we already laid down and then I'm just taking small pinches of the color twisting it at the end and felting it into the tail over the legs we do the same at the bottom just to give it that real rough look and then over the body just laying really really thin amounts of hair on and felting them in like we would in a in a more regular dog but just making sure that the coating is so thin less is more very much so and the head all these kind of terriers all these kind of small dogs with hairy faces it's very similar how you build up the hair bearing in mind the little pinch pinches of fleece and then felting them in kind of up and around the head and this gives the framing for the eyes little bit of grooming with the needle felting down areas where I need to and he has his gorgeous bushy eyebrows and then the chin is just felted up a continuation of the chest and the nose is a couple of strips of fleece cut to length and just felting on, felted on either side of the nose rather like I did the heel and coo in my how to felt long hair video and that's all there is to it so let's get down have a look at me create this wee dog <laughs>
that was helpful for you. Remember, if there's any breeds of dog that you're interested in seeing me create, leave a note in the comments down below and I'll try and get to them when I can. I'm Pam Duffy. I'm here to help you craft your career with every Thursday needle felting tutorial. So if this is something you're interested in, don't forget to come back every Thursday. If you're new here and you enjoyed that, don't forget, click on my wee face to subscribe. Check out the videos and the cards up above and come back every Thursday. Thank you so much.